Now that we're done unboxing the Neuralink Massager, let's talk about actually how to use it. Before we use it, you want to make sure the product is fully charged. What you want to do is take your overall cable here, and with this cable, we're going to put that cable inside the Neuralink Massager in the back of the unit, make sure it clicks in that small portion. Once it clicks in, the other part that is the USB cable here that connects either a wall or source outlet or the actual charge that comes to the overall unit inside the box. All right, once you've done that, let's sit for about two to three hours. Then from there, we'll have a chance to go over to actually how the screen works and how to use the massager itself. Now that you charge the device for at least two to three hours, let's apply it. Start with putting the device on your knee. This should be done in sitting position. As you get more comfortable, you can do it laying down with your knee bent. Place massage directly on your skin, not over clothing. Then connect the neural knee massager to your knee first by the top strap, then the bottom to a snug fit. Once you place your massager on your knee, now let's turn on the machine. Push the middle button and hold. At the start, you'll feel a vibration that cycles from side to side. You'll also feel a slight heating of the knee. Here are the buttons that will light up the start from top to bottom. The solid blue line indicates a full charge of your device. Heating at the default low setting. Infrared. The benefits of infrared include pain relief muscle relaxation, and improved circulation. Laser. The benefits of laser include reducing inflammation, pain relief, increased blood flow, and stimulating tissue growth. Lastly, vibration, with the default mode being medium. For the first use, I recommend just enjoying the default setting of the massager. Your neural knee massager has an auto shutdown at 10 minutes. As you get more comfortable with the neural knee massager, you can start changing the heating and vibration modes. Let's start with the heating mode change. The heating mode defaults to the lowest temperature. To change the heating mode to the medium heat, simply push the lower right button once. When you hear the beep and see the display light change, you will feel immediate warming of the knee to the medium setting. Push the same button again to increase to the high heat setting. If you want to completely turn off the heat, then push the same button again. All the lights to the heating display should turn off. Now let's proceed to changing the vibration mode. The default vibration mode auto is the medium setting. To change the vibration mode, push the lower left button once. When you hear the beep, the display will change to low and you should feel the difference. Then push the same button again. Once you hear the beep, the display will change to high and you'll feel the increased vibration. Push the button again and the vibration will turn off. Please note that you can use your Neuronia Massager with both the heating and vibration mode off and still get the benefits of both the infrared and also the laser. However, if you want to find a comfortable level that in includes a level of heat and vibration, then your new recovery is going to go faster. At the end, I just wanted to remind you to use a Neuronee Massager twice a day for three days for 10 to 15 minutes per session in order to see the lasting benefits of knee pain relief, increased motion, increased circulation, and improved quality of life.